place God first. How's your Easter journey going? We're into the fourth week and our second conversation. So hopefully you've had an opportunity to spend some time in prayer with and for others. Our second conversation is about sharing our faith, what God has been doing in our lives. Hopefully you had a chance to see the video before Mass on Sunday or check out the pastor's notebook. If not, please do so and then dive into a conversation about sharing your faith with those who are close to you, your family and your friends. I really want to talk to you more about deepening your prayer life. And actually, Nicole Nuzzle, our steward for liturgy, wants to introduce you and invite you into something that will truly deepen your prayer life. We adore him. So God bless and have a wonderful week as we continue to deepen our culture of discipleship as followers of Jesus Christ, sharing the good news of the risen Lord. God bless you. Thank you, Father Jim. I would like to share with you guys a little bit about my own witness to why prayer is so important in my own faith life. Adoration holds a very important place in my heart. It was in adoration that the Lord changed my heart. I grew up Catholic, but growing up, the faith was always just a story to me. It wasn't really a reality. And one day I asked myself the question, what if it's all true? What if it is real? And I decided that I needed to find the answer to that question because if it is true and if it is real, then everything about my life needs to change. So I decided to pray every day and really pray, be vulnerable with my heart and allow the Lord to work in my life. And it was through that experience that the Lord really proved the faith to be true. He showed me that He is real. He answered all my questions, and He continues to do so every day. My time in adoration each and every day has given me so many blessings in my life. It's given me energy throughout my day. It's given me a chance to be the best version of myself, and it's given me friends in the Catholic circle that I wouldn't have otherwise met, and they are some of my strongest relationships to this day. But most importantly, it's given me a relationship with Jesus that I carry in my heart every single day of my life. I've been praying a daily holy hour for the better part of the past four years, and I can attest to the fact that prayer is really difficult. It's not always easy, and most days it is a battle. I want to give you my word, though. If you stick with it, you will not be disappointed. It, that struggle makes everything worth it. You are actually building your relationship with God, even though sometimes it feels like you're just talking to a wall. And I encourage you to reach out to me, Father Jim, any of the staff members here, or just somebody in the community that you trust. If prayer becomes too difficult for you, please reach out, and we would love to walk with you through that battle. I want to thank you for listening to a little piece of my story, and I want to invite you to come spend time in this chapel um, it's a huge blessing for us to have, and we are very fortunate to be able to come here and pray at any time. It's open 24-7, and I'm going to talk to you a little bit about this new scheduling system that we have installed in it to help you grow in your relationship with our Lord. It's called We Adore Him. It's super simple and easy to use. It's going to help us with security in the chapel and also just with scheduling in general. Um, if you would like to sign up for a holy hour, just follow this link um, or the one that's posted in the description of this video. It's super simple. All you do is click on the link and it'll take you to a calendar and you're able to sign up for full hour slots, either daily, weekly, or monthly. And you're able to just click on the day and time on that calendar that you want to make a commitment. And from there, you're able to just make a simple account and you're all set. So then after you make an account, if you arrive in the Adoration Chapel during your day and time that you signed up for, your name will already be on the iPad in there and all you have to do is click on it to check in. If you have already signed up for a holy hour and you do not see your name on the iPad showing up, um, this is the reason why. 
When you walk into the chapel, you'll see the iPad and there's a guest sign-in option. If you're clicking on that to sign your name in, it's just signing you in for that one hour. It's not signing you in for reoccurring hours. And I've noticed that this is happening for a lot of people. Um, in order to sign up for the recurring hour, you have to follow the link um, that I mentioned before and that is listed in the description of this video. Or, when you do sign in as a guest, um, an email is sent to your email address with the link in that email. You can follow that link as well and it will take you to the exact same spot. If you have any questions or concerns about signing up, if you would like help doing so, I'll be in the gathering space after Masses this weekend. Please stop by. We will have all the resources you'll need to sign up right there and then. I'll be there to answer any questions. I hope you all have a great Easter and I hope to see you this weekend.